One of the most unique things about Cardano has to be the groundbreaking research and programming that went into the development. Part of that development involved writing a whole new method for the ledger to interact with the blockchain infrastructure. This method is called the Extended Unspent Transaction Output or EUTXO model. So what exactly is EUTXO? How is it different than Bitcoin's UTXO or Ethereum's account balance model? What advantages does it have over other models and what blockchains are actually using EUTXO? Stick around to find out. What is up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe and like on the way in because in today's video, we are taking a look under the hood of Cardano to find out just how the EUTXO model is used to power the blockchain of the future. If you're ready, let's dive in. As long as there have been financial records, there's been some kind of a ledger. Whether for a business or an individual, there's always been a detailed, often handwritten list of all purchases, sales, and the movement of money. This central record is the source of all financial truth and can give a quick and accurate representation of all the wealth and assets an individual or entity has in their possession. It's the same for blockchains, apart from the ledger being handwritten, of course, and Bitcoin was the first to write into code a way for the ledger to record the actions and balances of every entity in the network. This code dictated how value was stored, moved, and reconciled across the network and became known as unspent transaction output, or or UTXO. By definition, an unspent transaction output or UTXO is the amount of digital currency that remains after a cryptocurrency transaction. Think of it like the change you get back when paying for items at a store. This means that in the UTXO model, each transaction consists of both inputs and outputs where the inputs are unspent outputs from previous transactions and the outputs are the unconsumed change left over. In a Bitcoin wallet, your balance is determined by adding together all the unspent outputs you own, kinda like counting pocket change. It can be a little difficult to conceptualize, but think of UTXOs like a series of pockets that have various denominations of real money stored inside. Imagine you want to buy something that costs $4.50. Unfortunately, you don't have the exact amount of money, so you're going to have to overpay or hand over the contents of a few pockets until you paid more than $4.50. This could be as easy as handing over a $5 bill from one pocket and receiving 50 cents in change, or you could make up the total worth with funds from several smaller pockets until $4.50 is reached. The only condition is that each pocket has to be completely emptied to be used. You can't split the contents of a pocket without spending all the cash. The transaction is complete once the store owner takes the money offered and hands back any change owed. If we paid using a single $5 bill, the pocket that used to hold the single banknote is now empty and no longer relevant to your balance. In fact, the only amount that means anything is the change you've put back in a new pocket after completing your purchase. This pocket change is now your unspent UTXO that can be used for your next purchase. In terms of Bitcoin, a user's wallet manages these UTXOs and authorizes transactions when these unspent outputs are to be used. Every blockchain node maintains a record of all UTXOs at all times in a data set known as the UTXO set or chain state. Every time a new block is added to the chain, the chain state is updated with the latest list of spent and newly created UTXOs. If you run a Bitcoin node, you can view the full chain state by navigating to the data directory of that node. The benefits of a UTXO-based model are fairly well understood. For starters, every input will always link to an existing UTXO. This prevents transaction spoofing, double spending, and currency being lost in the ecosystem. In a UTXO model's stateless environment, users often cycle through an ever-changing list of addresses, each representing an unspent output from a previous transaction. This increases is a user's anonymity as no single address remains constant for a long period of time. 
UTXO-based accounting also allows for parallelization of transactions. So at surface level, a UTXO system seems pretty robust, but the model which Bitcoin uses to this day does come with some pretty big drawbacks. While it's great for accounting value transfer across the network, developers are limited in the number of states produced by each output. It's these limitations in the UTXO model that prompted a fresh look at how blockchains utilize their ledger accounting. And in 2015, Ethereum, was launched, a brand new way of thinking. Despite how revolutionary Ethereum was at the time of its launch, the concept behind their account balance model is fairly easy to understand. Just like in a traditional bank, your savings account has a balance with a dollar amount attached to it. When you buy something, your account is debited. The exact purchase price and those funds are then sent to the vendor's account. Unlike in a UTXO model, you don't have to withdraw your entire balance just to pay for your $4.50 product. The amount is simply debited out. It's the same with account balance model blockchains like Ethereum. Rather than a collection of addresses and small unspent amounts, assets are represented as balances within a user's account that can be then controlled by a private key or a smart contract. These balances are stored as a global state of accounts, kept by each node and updated with every transaction using a Merkle root comparison. This provides some handy benefits, like an intuitive developer ecosystem, the ability to efficiently bulk transactions together, and a much reduced blockchain storage footprint. On the flip side, as Ethereum account model transactions contain only an event, not a specified input and output state, they must be evaluated for correctness by the EVM and any additional protocol built on top. This takes time, computation, and exposes the possibility that the global state would have changed by the time transactions are presented to the blockchain. So what does this mean exactly? Well, if you've ever had transactions on Ethereum fail, eating up exorbitant gas fees in the process, you'll know that hitting submit doesn't always mean your transaction goes through. It's the reason slippage and impermanent loss are such a prevalent phenomenon on the account balance blockchain DEXs. There's also an issue of security. Semantics of the contract code can be quite complex and inexperienced programmers can potentially introduce very costly vulnerabilities into the code. We've already seen the better part of a billion dollars worth of value stolen from EVM exploit attacks. Additionally, if you want to implement a layer two or scaling solution alongside your account balance model blockchain, you're going to need a whole host of new proof verification mechanisms to prove state transition validity. These just aren't needed in a UTXO system. Okay, so we know Charles Hoskinson left Ethereum in the early days, focused on developing what he believed was a more robust way of doing things. The result, after years of research, study, and publication of scientific proofs, was Cardano and its unique E-UTXO-based blockchain. Charles wanted to marry the secure cryptographic proof of Bitcoin's UTXO model with the rich programmability of Ethereum's account balance blockchain and Cardano's extended unspent transaction output, or E-UTXO, was the result of that idea. When compared to UTXO, Cardano's E-UTXO has two key upgrades. Number one, addresses in the E-UTXO model can contain arbitrary logic in the form of scripts. For example, when a node validates a transaction, the node determines whether or not the transaction is allowed to use a certain output as an input. The transaction will look up the script provided by the output's address and will execute the script if the transaction can use the output as an input. Number two, outputs can carry arbitrary arbitrary data in addition to an address and value. This makes scripts much more powerful by allowing them to carry state information. So what does this mean performance-wise? For starters, the success or failure of transaction validation depends only on the transaction itself and its inputs, and not on anything else on the blockchain. As a consequence, the validity of a transaction can be checked off-chain before the transaction is sent in for processing. This means you get a higher transaction assurance rate with markedly less failures. Secondly, trans Transaction fees can also be accurately predicted, preventing gas shock and providing assurance at the point of transaction. Account-based blockchains like Ethereum are indeterministic, which means that they cannot guarantee the transaction's effect on chain. And finally, due to the local nature of transaction validation, a high degree of parallelism is possible. A node could, in principle, validate transactions in parallel if those transactions do not try to consume the same input.
So now we understand the benefits of EUTXO, why aren't all blockchains using it? Cardano isn't the only blockchain running on an EUTXO system. Projects like Ergo or Nervos are also using this model for cryptocurrency ledger accounting. In fact, these projects along with Cardano form the EUTXO alliance that was founded back in 2021. As smart contracts become more and more complex and Cardano progresses further and further along its development roadmap, it should become obvious why developing EUTXO was a smart move. This video took a lot of research and careful study. So if there are any technical updates or anything else that we missed, please let us know. Y'all know I'm no engineer myself, so I appreciate your patience and we'll get it fixed if there is something that we missed. As always, everyone, I really appreciate you coming by. Let me know your thoughts on this EUTXO model that Cardano has delivered. I appreciate you. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.